Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at how to easily update your jailbroken PS4 to a more current version, giving you access to more features. In this video, we'll focus on pushing the payload using the USB method. If your PS4 is running firmware 9.00 or below and hasn't been jailbroken yet, check out my step-by-step -step guide to get started in the description down below. So welcome to the channel. My name is Robles Jr. and I'm passionate about covering homebrew topics, especially for gaming handhelds like the PSP and the PS Vita. But now that I'm expanding the channel to include more consoles, consider subscribing for more content just like this. So let's dive into the latest custom firmware version available for us through the web browser. This is version 2.4 B18. And here are some fantastic features it offers. Obviously it will have the homebrew enabler, remote package install, rest mode support, external hard drive support, remote play enabler, firmware update block, plugin support, integrated FPS counter, and so much more. Let's begin by preparing our web browser. So open up your web browser and then open up your settings. Next, delete cookies and clear website data to ensure you're viewing the most updated web page. Next, we're going to visit a website. Go to kmeps4.site. Then select the Chameleon PS4 9.00 host front face set web kit. Navigate to the manual host exploit menu and choose manual host hybrid. Now we're going to choose and enable our custom firmware. Here on this page, we have the bin loaders, our gold hand, and our payloads. Select gold hand version 2.4 B18. Follow the steps provided to enable the custom firmware using your USB device. Now, once that is enabled, make sure to bookmark this page because if you do turn off your PS4, you will have to repeat this process again. So just make sure that you do have it saved on your bookmark so you don't have to go through these different pages just to get to the version 2.4 B18 version. Now let's verify our installation. Confirm the update in system settings. Now you can explore the new options under the gold hand menu in your apps. Now one of my favorite features is the ability to view all of that system information on screen while gaming. I like to make sure that my PS4 is not overheating or anything like that or if there's something funny going on I can see it while I'm gaming. And it really helps to test thermals on certain games and things like that. So what is next? I'm working on more guides for the PS4 and creating new content for the channel. So if you enjoyed this guide please give it a like and subscribe for more updates. If you have any questions drop them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this guide helps you update your system safely. Take care. Ember froze. Woman, I noticed a small satchel.